You know, Lake Murray's one of the best tournament lakes in the country. And when I say tournament, I mean tournament lake. Some lakes, there are tournaments, but they're not tournament lakes. Practice has been really good. Uh, this lake is super special, and I, I really believe it's in an upswing right now. Murray's fishing so good right now, you can't go catch 14 or 16 pounds and stay in it. Lake Murray is an awesome, phenomenal fishery. There is fish from one end to the other, and I don't really think there's a bad area. I mean, it's possible. This lake does have the fish in it to catch a century belt, for sure. Like I say, I saw enough today to get to a century belt. I'll tell you that. By far the best bass fishing lake in the southeast. They should pay me for that. Yes! America could. Yes! Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Bassmaster Studio, sponsored by Marathon. I'm Tommy Sanders here with Ronnie Moore. And Ronnie, digging into that 23 season is like a labor of love for us. It's been a great season. And, and to look back on the very start of it down in South Florida, Okeechobee, then on to Seminole, two first-time winners. That is unusual. Now, as we dig into stop number three in South Carolina, Lake Murray, it was unusual for different reasons. Was very excited to see it on the Bassmaster Elite Series schedule, a place we hadn't been since 2011. It had been over a decade since we've been to Columbia, South Carolina for Lake Murray. And boy, has this lake made a turn for the better, Tommy. That was our, our big herring lake for the season as well. That always puts an extra dimension of, of strategies and ways to catch them. And man, catch them they did. I can't remember a tournament in, in recent memory where we have caught such numbers of good keeper fish. Yeah, the numbers of big ones, Tommy, 20 plus pound bags, those were common for the Elite Series anglers. Everyone had to have a four or five pounder every single day. Matt Roberts storming out of the gates a big day one and he was our leader heading into day two 25 8 and Matt Robertson rockets all the way up to the top of the leaderboard in first place with 25 pounds eight ounces I'm super excited uh, I don't think it'll get real good till a little later in the day but man you ain't seen nothing until you seen one of them big girls hit that top water man it's unreal Matt Robertson understandably excited. What a day, 25-8 on day number one. That's outpacing a lot of the expectations, but as we look at this, the rest of the field is not that far behind him. We have had a bang up day number one. Now let's take it out on the lake, find Matt Robertson, and see how it goes for his efforts on day number two. I'm telling you. Look at that. God. Missed it. God. I'm telling you, there's nothing but big ones here. Get the heart racing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy, I was saying magnums. It's all right. It's all right. <sighs> big one. Big one. Come on, baby. Not a big one. Looked big whenever she blew up. Smallest one I've caught here. I'll take it though. Didn't have nothing at noon yesterday. Ain't too worried about it. She's gonna get better later in the day. Big one. Oh. That's a big one. Come on, baby, I need you. Come here, baby. It's a magnum, look at that. Larry, 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 baby. I appreciate you letting me pull up here with you. I needed that one bad.
I just had her bite. I just shot, got her to bite. Got her. Come on, girl, stay on. That's bigger than a five pounder. Please lower snail. Yes, sir. We just freaking got her. Oh. Got her a shock bite, baby. From Panama City, Florida, Drew Benton. He needs 20 pounds, 11 ounces to take the lead. 23 pounds, 9 ounces. 23, 9, and with 46 pounds, 9 ounces, Drew Benton is your brand new leader at the Marathon Bassmaster Elite. Back-to-back 23-pound days, I gotta say, that had to be fun. It was a lot of fun, Dave. You know, I don't know what, you know, tomorrow holds or the next day, but, uh, when the sun shines and you're on a fishery as good as Lake Murray is and they're up there shallow doing their thing and I get to catch them the way I get to catch them, it's a lot of fun. Drew Benton, 23 and a half pounds on day number two. Add that to his 23 from day number one and you see a man who is positioned to make his run at a second Bassmaster Elite Series title. We'll pick it up with Drew when we come back. The Bassmaster Elite Series is sponsored by Yamaha. Rapala. Progressive Insurance. Nitro Boats. And by Power Pole. You kind of got to win to be relevant in this sport. It's been a while since I won, you know, at this level. I think 2018 um, was the the last time I've had some close calls, I finished second um, a couple times, finished second in an open, finished second in a lead event, and uh, you know, I don't know if this week will be the week, but I feel like I'm due, and uh, I just hope it is. Drew Benton done the work so far, averaging about 23 and a quarter pounds over the first two days of competition here on Lake Murray in South Carolina, but not too far behind. Hunter Shryock, Kyoya Fujita, and Patrick Walters. So Drew has some work left to go. Yeah, stay like that. It's amazing when you know where to cast. It's all one-eyed rascal. Look at him blind in that eye. Just a little one though. Felt a little bit of the steel on that one. And this lake's a heron related lake, just like Hartwell, Clark's Hill, Russell, the lakes I fish a ton. And so I'm using my knowledge of herring fishing. The name of the game at Lake Murray is basically they get on obvious places. That's the problem. So I think you'll see a lot of people fishing the same places. And you're going to see probably somebody that finishes 90th fishing the same places as somebody that finishes in the top 10. It's just the name of the game here is timing and being on the right spot at the right time. Yeah. Is that a bigger one? Or that foul hook him? What do we got here? I think I hooked him funny. Can't tell. No idea. I got two. No. I got two. I got two, that's what it is. Yeah, it felt funny. One's a good one. I think. Don't pull off. One's a good one, one's a little one. Come here. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> there we go. Oh, 
How's that? <laughs> All right, we're gonna put him in there. And then I gotta call one, and I don't think he calls. This gets confusing. You gotta make sure you don't do the six fish thing when you got when you just caught two at once. That was cool. My marshal yesterday actually asked me, he said, have you not caught two this week? Because I was catching so many. It's like, nah, I hadn't actually. Now I have. There's one. That might be a big one. Maybe. Yeah, that's a big one. I think I'm gonna come back there. Oh my gosh, he's got one hook on the top of the head. Too much line out, can I grab him? You got him. Pretty good one. <laughs> Definite favorite coming in, and over these three days we have seen why. Brian and Cobb going through some impressive numbers and getting some of the right size, as well as witness that double right there. A tougher day for Drew Benton. There's more of day three left to fish. We'll have that for you in a moment. Semi-final Saturday, day number three of this 2023 Bassmaster Elite event at Lake Murray. Long time since the elites have been here and what a fish catching experience it has been. Lake Murray is in fine shape and certainly one of the favorites coming in. This man, Patrick Walters, has been very consistent over the first two days, slower today. Caught some fish this morning. You know, we started off pretty strong. We've got us five good base fish. It's not gonna be enough for have to cull a bunch more times. We're around a ton of fish. There is so many fish right here right now. And if we could just trigger out and figure out how to get these fish to bite, I think we could catch a really big bag. I can't, I did not believe there'd be this many fish here. Like an absurd amount. Like, I don't know how I'm not nagging them. There's so many. Here we go, third one. Smoked it. Something was telling me to change not to that squiggle for a minute. It's a better one, I don't know the way. We just gotta keep freaking catching them. Sir Brian, we gotta find big ones. Uh, you know, we're catching them, but I'm not happy yet. Like, that sounds crazy, but it's like, they're biting somewhere else better. Um, and we need to be somewhere else. I don't know where. But, uh... Patrick Walters needing to find something in the five, six pound range here if he wants to stay competitive. Certainly very competitive throughout this tournament so far. Kyoya Fujita. Had a little trouble getting out on the water today, but now he is set up and going. Again, Fujita is fishing uh, some main lake pockets. And he is an ace with his front facing sonar. This rookie has really shown us something out here this week on Lake Murray. Expecting big things from this young man. He's got a long way to go, but he could potentially notch his first victory out here in the Elite Series this year. Five pound. Late start, but big fish. Yes, a little difficulty getting a, a timely start to this day, but boy, that fish was right on time. A big one. That was earlier today for Kyoya Fujita. 
Again, sticking to the game plan, utilizing the front facing sonar extensively here. Needs another big one, though. Ick. Ooh. Yes! Yeah! Five on that. Yes! Oh, five, five, five. Yeah. Today, number one. All the way from Japan, 26 years old and a four time Japanese angler of the year, Koya Fujita! 20 pounds, 12 ounces, with 65 pounds, 8 ounces. If you were to win tomorrow, how long have you dreamed of being a Bassmaster Elite Series champion? Uh, six or seven, yeah. <laughs> six or seven, that's a long time you've been dreaming. He's a four-time Bassmaster winner, a four-time classic qualifier from Somerville, South Carolina, Patrick Walters. 19 pounds, four ounces, 19.4. Truly, what a blessed week. You know, I've caught a lot of fish this week. Today, I caught a, I probably caught 35 fish. This lake, Lake Murray is fishing phenomenal. He's a former motocross racer, now makes his living on the Elite Series, a three-time classic qualifier from Newcomerstown, Ohio, Hunter Shryock. 18 pounds, five ounces. He moves into second place with 64 pounds and three ounces. I tell you what, this place is so phenomenal. I wish we could come back here in March because if I had the same weight in March, I'd be in like 42nd place. So <laughs> uh, hopefully we go out there and catch us a big old bag tomorrow and uh, show them off to you guys. And thank you all for coming out. Let's bring out a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year himself. He is a former Elite Series champion from your day two leader from Panama City, Florida, Drew Benton. 14 pounds even, a pound short of the overall lead, but he moves into fifth place with 60 pounds and nine ounces. Don't count Benton out if he sneaks into that top 10. Anything can happen, 60 pounds, nine ounces. Let's hear it for Drew Benton. Tommy, Drew Benton's one of the best sight fishermen we have in the Bassmaster Elite Series. A stellar start to this tournament, a little bit tougher day three. He sneaks into the top 10. Will he be able to overcome the rest of the elite field to win a blue trophy? Yeah, stick with us when we come back. We're gonna go right into the final day for a showdown that I promise you we'll be talking about for a long, long time. The Bassmaster Elite Series is sponsored by Hummingbird, Mercury, Toyota, and by Ranger Boats. Drew Benton, we don't remember the last time that there was a sight fishing bite involved that you weren't in the mix. And uh, it doesn't matter how you're catching, whether you're chasing the herring bite, whether you're sight fishing, all you guys are five fish away from a league series title. This is truly one of those Sundays where anybody can win. How are you feeling this morning? You're, you're right. I think anybody who has 25 pounds today has a legit shot of winning. And I think that's what it's going to take. Whichever one of us is the first one, the 25 plus is going to walk away with it today. So it's anybody's ball game. Championship Sunday and Drew Benton after two smashing days. Days one and two of this tournament, a big drop off on day number three. And you heard it. He says it's anybody's ball game today. There he is.
Please stay on there. It's got one hook. Oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Juice. Juice. Thank you, Brock Mosley. Brock told me about this little deal yesterday. Well, it was side fishing that propelled Drew Benton to the top on days one and two, but a big fall off in production on day number three, looking for a plan B, and this seems to be working out. Gosh, I got him hooked in the back, and it's a big one. Gosh, yeah, so mighty. No. <laughs> Oh no. I think he's got me in the motor. What has it got me hung in? I got him hooked in the back, so I can't pull on him too hard. <sighs> got him hooked in the back. Oh, one hook. <laughs> I'm only gonna get one chance at this if he comes up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah. Come here. Ah. Come here. Yes. Oh. <laughs> like, he swiped at it and I hooked him in the back. I don't know if it's our day, but it feels like it. Realistically, I think I'm three or four pounds from winning. One of the most epic days of fishing I've had in a long time, and it ain't over. What a great comeback engineered by Drew Benton. He was just about at the abyss. He was looking at not making the cut to today, and now he is totally back in the conversation, the man on top of the conversation, to start day number four. This man, Kyoya Fujita of Japan, the rookie, yeah. Basically working three main lake pockets, chasing different groups of fish around to great, great effect. And right now he's up to 15 pounds on the day. Yes.
Yeah, Bob? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Tommy, earlier this season, we got a little bit of taste of our rookie, Kyoya Fujita, and his skill set. We knew he'd be one that would be dangerous on the northern swing. We didn't know it would show up as big as it has at Lake Murray. He's got a good one in the boat, but he's got a lot of guys chasing him, a lot of guys with great experience as well. Absolutely. So many great storylines, so many great fish catches. It's just really a wealth of bass fishing fun at this one. When we come back, we'll get into it, though, and you know a tournament this outstanding is going to have some game-changing big fish caught near the very end that decide the outcome. Don't go away. Let's go, man. Championship Sunday 2023 Bassmaster Elite Series. First time in a long time for the elites to visit Lake Murray here in Columbia, South Carolina. And what a terrific tournament it has been. Drew Benton, the leader for the first two days, falling off the, the table on day number three, but back near the top again. Here's Hunter Shryock starting second. Biggin. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. She's behind two dock posts. She's under the boat. Here she comes. Here she comes. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Get, I'm talking clear back, bro. Clear back. Thank you. I'm sorry for screaming so early, but we're fishing for a hundred grand and a blue trophy. I don't even care about the money, dude. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> Give me a hug. Oh my gosh. Guys, if you don't have Berkeley Trilene, <laughs> I'm telling you, you're missing out. This is 10 pound Berkeley Trilene. Look at where she's hooked. She's barely pegged in the back of her throat. That's a, we're gonna weigh her. I think that's an eight pounder, seven. Oh my gosh. Hey, my body weight was in the boat. I kept my left butt cheek under my Lowrance unit. My boat logic's graph mounts keep me in. Dude, had to, I had to stick my rod under the post, grab it. I kept all my weight in the boat. I know it's illegal to get your weight out of the boat. I made sure my butt talks was squeezing that graph. Golly, we got three fish for 15 pounds. It wouldn't surprise me to have another rodeo again.
Begging. Begging. Got to keep her pegged, Hunter. Oh my gosh. Please, Lord. We're stuck on a rock. I can't get to her. Stop, Hunter. Just stop. Just stop. Get the, get the camera back. Way back. Way back. Way back. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah! Yes! Thank you, Lord! Woo! What a fish! What a fish! Come on, coach, put me in! <laughs> Booby wants to spin! If you haven't noticed, that's a Friday night's Friday Night Lights reference, me and Brandon, the camera guy. We've been having movie references all day. I got a call. Put me in, coach. I want to win. Let me spin. <laughs> all right. Jump up here. Jump up here. Uh, I got a call. <sighs> we need one more. We need one more. Toasted that rod, dude. 10 pound Berkeley trilene. In your face. Hunter Shryock having one of the greatest outings of his Elite Series career. Certainly been the most consistent over the first three days among our anglers. And now he is having a great, great day number four championship Sunday, just under 19 pounds and looking good as it stands right now. But back over to Drew Benton. Watch out for a second. Got ourselves a rodeo now. grass. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Yes! Whoa! Six pounder. Just threw a four pounder back for a six pounder. Mmm. Mm. Oh, man. Man, I wish I had a little bit more time. Pounder. Gets rid of a 440, number four. Let's go, man. If that ain't enough, I don't know what to tell you. I, I did everything I could do. I don't, one of the most incredible days fishing I've ever had. I don't know if it'll be enough, but 
somebody was smiling down on me today. It's something we pray for in every single Bassmaster Elite Series event that multiple anglers have a shot to win and we have all 10 of our anglers catching big ones within the final hour of the tournament, Tommy. We're gonna have to take this one to weigh in to see what's up. Yeah, every fish we've seen so far, every weight we have been uh, treated to has been unofficial. It never is official till the final reckoning and that, of course, is the weigh-in. That's what we have coming up next for you. The Bassmaster Elite Series is sponsored by Mincota, Skeeter Boats, Bass Pro Shops, and by Dakota Lithium. This is the Marathon Bassmaster Elite at Lake Murray. Are you ready? No, 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 no. I said, are you ready? Let's get ready to win. Rolling through first is our day two leader. He is a former FLW Tour Rookie of the Year, an FLW Tour winner. He's a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year, looking to be a two-time Elite Series champion. Had a tough day yesterday. Five fish all alive. Flippity flop. What has he got? 26 pounds, seven ounces. 26, seven. And that is the brand new VMC Monster Bag, the biggest bag of the tournament on the final day, Championship Sunday, here at the Marathon Bassmaster Elite at Lake Murray Country. Wow, what a day. Watching you today has been incredible. Man, I don't know what to say. It's the, the dangest thing. <laughs> Best day of fishing I've had in a long time. I, uh... I got to thank Brock Mosley. He kind of keyed me into a little deal down the lake at Shab responding on some rocky banks. And uh, he told me in the bag line yesterday that that was how he called them. And, and I was able to run down there and get a good start. And then before I went looking, and then I, I was always able to find me a couple females each day. And today I found a six and a five and caught them. And that's what made that mega bag today. And I, I thank you a, a ton, Brock. I, I, I can't thank you. My family and my sponsors and everybody who texts me and supports me, um, I, I really appreciate it. He's not going anywhere. He's going to load our Yeti hot seats. The longer you stay there, the more you get paid. Cozy? Cha-ching. From Greenwood, South Carolina, the C-O-double-B, Brandon Cobb. Five fish here today looking for 26 pounds, six ounces. 21 pounds, two ounces. He moves into second place with 81 pounds, 13 ounces. Because the incredible day by Drew Benton, he needs 26 pounds and six ounces. Five fish here today, 19.6. Gives him 80 pounds and an ounce. He moves into third place currently. Looking for 26 pounds and six ounces. Five fish here today, 19 pounds, 14 ounces. Gives him 80 pounds, nine ounces. He moves into third place currently. Needs 25, 14 to take the lead away from his roommate. 20 pounds, four ounces with 81 pounds, seven ounces. Not gonna take the lead, but ladies and gentlemen, another great finish here for Drew Cook. Five fish to add to that here today needs a 25 pounds, nine ounces. 20 pounds, five ounces. Puts him in second place with 81 pounds and 13 ounces. And unbelievably, because of what Benton did here today, he needs 25 pounds, nine ounces. Five fish. 17 pounds, two ounces. He moves into seventh place with 78 pounds and 10 ounces. There's only three more anglers left. Yep. You want me to keep going? Bring them home. A four-time Bassmaster winner from Somerville, South Carolina, Patrick Walters. Needs 24 pounds and nine ounces. 21 pounds and an ounce. He moves into second place with 83 pounds and nine ounces. I'm looking for 22, 14. Five fish all alive. 21 pounds, four ounces. 
21-4. He moves into second place, just one pound, 10 ounces short of the overall lead with 85 pounds, seven ounces. Get loud. This this guy, you know, he's he's pretty accomplished. One of the most highly touted rookies coming into this. And this is only his third event, and it's his second top 10. Yeah, he's got more electronics on his boat than my house is probably worth, too. That, that, that could be true. You want me to roll him through? Bring him home. Let's get him heading this way. Only his third Bassmaster event, 26 years old. He is already a four-time Angler of the Year in Japan, a six-time winner in Japan. His third Bassmaster event, his second top 10. He is your current leader in the Rookie of the Year race. And the question is, can anybody conquer Mount Fujita? Get loud for Koya Fujita. We're about to crown a champion. And a great champion, whichever way this goes. 65 pounds, eight ounces he had the start of the day. He's got five fish. He needs 21 pounds, nine ounces. Looking for 21, nine. 18 pounds, six ounces. Benton battles back and is a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion all the way from 10th to the top and you're a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. How does that feel, Drew Bent? Man, it feels great. You know, I, I think I've just settled down and, and I realize that this is what I do. This is me now. I, I, I fish for a living and, you know, I used to have to go back home and I was a longshoreman. I worked down there on the, the cargo docks when I would go back home in between elite events and when I started my career and no better motivation in the world than having to go work in a sweaty, hot ship whenever you want to be out here fishing. And uh, so I just had to keep grinding and keep figuring out a way to, to do this full time. And now I am, and I'm just super thankful and blessed to be able to do it. It's a lot of fun to watch you. You ready for this trophy? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's make this official. We'll welcome Lisa Talmadge back again to do the handoff. He started the day in 10th place. Benton battles back and becomes a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. The marathon Bassmaster Elite at Lake Murray belongs to Drew Benton. Hats off, Drew Benton with the win right there. Long time, a top tier angler out here. And Ronnie even got to get back and rely on his incredible sight fishing skills to be part of a winning combination there. Just a great, great finish for a great angler. All 100 of our Elite Series pros have something that we would define as in their wheelhouse, their best skill set, their best attribute for Drew Benton. It is sight fishing. And to see a professional at the top level use his best skill to come through for a victory, it's something you want to sit back and admire. Congratulations, Drew Benton. What a week, what a final day comeback. Tenth to first, Tommy. Well, next time we're going to the place that is second in number of century belts delivered for the fans, for the anglers here. It's also in South Carolina is the Santee Cooper Complex there. It's gonna be a big one next time.